Hello, my most amazing art students. So today we're going to go ahead and finish up our um, rose windows. Uh, my background paper has dried and I actually cut out a different window that is radially symmetric because actually, let me go ahead and talk with you about that. Like you should try to do on this side the same thing that you do on that side if you want it to be radially symmetric so that way when when you actually what I mean is you do the same cutouts on these edges and so when you fold it over it's all the same so well that when you fold it in it matches up all right so um, this reminds me of making snowflakes with my family so what I'm gonna do is get my messy mat and put a bunch of glue what side has the markings I don't even know I can't see any so it doesn't matter so I'm just gonna go ahead and try to put glue all the way on all especially the edges because I want it to stick down really well Um, normally I say you only have to do the edges of a of um, an image you don't have to uh, put so much in the middle of something but since there's so many cutouts of this image it's we want to hit all the edges all right and you have to work fast because this stuff will dry and then when you go to put it down on here it's not gonna stick and that's not what we want. You guys got to decide how you want yours to be. I like it. And then what I always do is I flip it over, massage the back. Because that way you're not getting your hands caught up on the all the cutouts. Massagey, 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 massagey. Press down. And when you flip it over, oop, that's nice and done then you need your scissors what do I do with my scissors all the way here okay and um, I'm gonna just cut, go ahead and cut out around the edge of this rose window and you get that nice pretty stained glass effect because of the watercolors the only sad part is that um, it's not really see-through but it's still a pretty thing to hang uh, hang up so normally at school we uh, use transparencies and color on them and the sun shines through and it's super fun but I really like the way this um, watercolor came together the water wash the marker the marker wash and it just gives such a pretty effect for some reason there's a white thing so um, you could try to make even more intricate cutouts by doing smaller things it's up to you guys there's your window look how special that is thanks for joining me today you guys I'm gonna put a little blurb up about um, just rose windows a little something else for you guys to learn today have a wonderful day